Welcome back to Harry Potter. Mmm, curry. Mmm, peppermint. A wizard card! I was watching a review of the game. Apparently, the Xbox one, Keep up, original please, Xbox and version, me. quickly now, come on, has the best graphics. Oddly, I know. I will tell you that this looks better on the GameCube emulator Peeps, than the a poltergeist <laughs> PS2 emulator. Much better. Ooh, hickle firsties! What fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Why in fuck would he ever listen to someone like you, Percy? I would not listen to Keep you. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry! There are secrets around Hogwarts, and I'll find every single one of them. I'll find Follow all me, the beans. everyone. Keep up. The beans shall be mine. The beans must be mine. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. That's weird. There shouldn't be no sound, but there's something that plays. And there's bugs here and there. With the A wizard card! Here's an interesting question. Would I be playing the game if it wasn't the nostalgia? You know, obviously, you know, even though I never played this game before, the the nostalgia factor of Harry Potter and the fact I grew up playing the PC version does play a major role in this. So would I be playing this game otherwise? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Well, obviously, if you're uh, someone who's read Harry Potter and is very much interested in that universe, Probably so, you know, just because it's a Harry Potter game and you enjoy being in that universe. But otherwise, hmm. Well, I think they're decent enough games, to be honest, to enjoy on their own. At least the fir the PC version and maybe the PS1 version, which I hear is very similar, actually. That's a prefect. There's actually two of them. Locomotor Mortis! Well, well. Harry Potter. I will try and get the beans there. Locomotor Mortis! I have you! Nope. Hey, you! I don't think you do, mate. Alright, I have 50 beans. Let's go to Fred and George. Bean bag us fifty beans. I wanted to get that out of the way. Password Caput Draconis.
Hey, Harry, Fred and Joe just set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Study for what? It's the first day. Pig snout. Locomotor mortis. Hey. I don't think so, Percy. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. How much is this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. He said 30, didn't he? Yes, he did say 30. It's you can 50. come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. I must be hearing things. Now get out, you're disturbing my studies. Fuck you. Hey, I would have gotten out happily if you hadn't stunned me and thrown me back into that hole. Hey! Come here! Nope, I'm not gonna be thrown down a deep dark hole again. I've seen enough of Filch's underwear for a lifetime, thanks. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. Because that's what the deep dark hole means in the Harry Potter universe. Filch's underwear. A wizard card! flavor Mmm coconut Mmm curry There's nothing here, but so we got lessons. Morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. 
Copy of Magical Fury by Adelbert Waffling. Could be anywhere on the grounds. If found, okay. Fishy, sardine flavor, spinach flavor. Ugh, earwax. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. If you honestly think I'm eager to join Snape, you are sadly mistaken, Ron. Ooh. Wait, I went through the portrait? My bad. I don't... No, I didn't. But then where am I? I'm here, but... Okay, bit confused. Well, let's see what's down here, right? A wizard card! Big snout. So regardless of how you cut it, you are not gonna be able to place sound effect here. Because of that audio issue. Anyway, I'm going into the bathroom, not not to buy anything because they're not Ugh. here. Spra mm. Uh. Ip mm. Pe mm. Chocolate uh. Booga Fi Booga flavor. A wizard card! Mmm! Ugh! Revolting! Vomit flavor! Ugh! Riv! Riv! Yuck! Riv! Mmm! Marmalade! I don't know how many beans I can carry, but still. Flavor. What the hell is that anyway? Speed is a bit high, maybe I should limit it. Metal anyway first and foremost. Let's see. Mmm, to 
ghost. A cauldron cake. Toast. A wizard card. Earwax flavour. Mmm, -hmm. coffee. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, marmalade. Huh. You know, they really turned down the puzzle thing in this game. They're still playing. A wizard for me. card! Okay. They should at least. Oh, Sprouts! Yeah, I should at least check to see if I already have a card. Because I might be able to trade cards, I think. Fishy! Sardine flavor! And don't think I didn't see that the moment I walked through here. A wizard card pack! Adalbert Waffling Cassandra Vablatsky Salazar Slytherin Salazar Slytherin Ethelred the Ever Ready Mmm, curry! Ugh! Mmm, mmm, toast! Ugh, liver! Spinach flavor! A wizard card! Mm. Ugh! Earwax flavor! Spinach flavor. Oh, bogey. I need to go and find Ron. Where the fuck am I anyway? I have no fucking clue. Okay.
But that makes... But why? A wizard card pack! Why would you put that fucking slope? Oh, Fancy that's trading wizard cards, Harry. Hmm. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry. Why not? Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? You can't trade unless you have spare wizard cards. Wait, this is the defense against the dark arts. Why am I even here? Uh. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Not in the mind of an 11 year old in Gryffindor. Who is slated to become one of the best players Hogwarts has seen. And how the fuck did I just gain a second... Wait! Is it related to the number of cards I have? Guess that's a real incentive to actually get cards. Flavor Booger Flavor Booger Flavor Oh Bogus Booger Flavor Bogey. 
Well, now that I've done some fucking RL, let's see your Baron and potion. Dung bombs. A wizard card. Mopsus. Earwax flavor. A wizard card. Ugh, liver. A pumpkin pasty! I believe the whole thing with Quarrel, uh, the dar defense dar against Dark Arts, was on the third floor, so this is what, the fifth floor? I need to go and find Ron. No, oh, this makes <laughs> no sense at all, I guess, but still. So let's go up. I'm not sure why Harry Potter is on steroids, but or on speed, but still. That's not how uh, the game's supposed to run. So wait, this is the sixth floor, right? Then. I really ought to go and find Ron. Piss off with Ron. Who gives a fuck? I mean... Hmm... 
Rhino's fine. I don't like... Um, oh yeah, I wasn't here. I never... Dung bombs! Yeah, I didn't like the development of Rhino as a character by rolling. Then again, I didn't like the development of a lot of characters by rolling. I just... Fishy! Sardine flavor! A wizard card! Spinach! Mmm! Toast! Mmm! Yuck! Grass flavor! What's the big deal with grass? Really? Then again, in terms of character development, I don't like how many, how Harry himself, for instance, was developed. Really? How many fucking classrooms are you gonna give me? <laughs> I mean, I'm kinda tired of the classrooms. Mmm! Peppermint! A wizard card! A cauldron cake! Yuck! Grass flavor! Mmm! Chocolate! Mmm! Fishy! Sardine flavor! Well, that's quite a few beans, isn't it? Spent a lot of time collecting those. I have been here before. I'm gonna trade that double card with the girl. Wait, that's this is the four four uh, four. No. What did you even fucking find there? A speck of dust? <laughs> oh, really? Harry? Revolting! Vomit flavor! They just had to make the bookshelf searchable as well. Oh god, this is this annoying. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Yeah.
You can't trade unless you have spare wizard cards. Sounds like a fucking stupid system. By the way, remember Pokemon? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, it's an insignificant thing. There was, stick, there was a period in school when I was in general school. I think I was, what, uh, fifth or fourth grade, anyway. Um, and there were the sticker albums for Pokemon. And everyone was mad about them. Everyone. And... There were stickers, there were certainly those that were more difficult to find, like, just, you know, like with the... Exactly like with the... With the chocolate frog cards. So those would be worth more. You would be trading more stickers for them. You, know, you wanna get the Pikachu? Good luck with that one. You are gonna spend a lot of cards to get a Pikachu. Also, it's the perceived popularity of a card or the perceived value of card. The, arg the notion that these cards would be. Once trade a wizard card, Harry. Once trade a wizard card, Harry. You can't trade unless you have spare wizard cards. Booger flavor. What the fuck? Or a Mewtwo, or, you know, anything like that. Bloody hell. Those things were in croissants. We used to buy them. So many of them, guys. I think we bought hundreds. Yes, hundreds, just to fill some fucking stickers. Not because we wanted to eat them. Just because. Stickers. God. Mmm, toast! Me, me and my brother would go to the store and buy pff, seven croissants or something like that. And it's like, oh, you're going on a vacation. Uh, no, we just want to get stickers. Admittedly, that was a big waste of money and... Mmm, uh, marmalade. And good food, good croissants should have just staggered the whole thing. Fishy! Sardine flavor! Earwax flavor. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, toast. Ugh, tripe. Revolting vomit flavor. This seems like Transfiguration class. Oh man, so many things. And I am reminded of having... Of having a monthly allowance for the fact I had the disability with my eyesight. I had really poor eyesight when I was a kid. It did improve markedly when uh, I got older, but I think I started to do it extremely poor eyesight anyway. Let's see. And that was not an insignificant amount of money. For Romania at least. Hmm. Romania has no notion of welfare. And I, I was having a discussion actually on the subject. Oh, I don't. With someone. Stink is like, pellets! And he's like. I don't think people should have welfare. I was like, uh, you don't understand the concept. Bombs. That there's oh that there's a lot of 
period for abuse for that or a lot of abuse that goes on that. Yeah, sure. Welcome to every government in the world ever. A wizard card! I keep finding this fucking chick. Give me something interesting. Well, I got Merlin. That's something. Mmm, curry. Though Merlin is rare. I remember how in the books... Ron used to bitch about how difficult it was for him to find Merlin, mm, if I recall. curry. Mmm, coconut. Oh, bogey. I'm guessing the Ugh, yep. tripe. I'm guessing the speed of the game is causing these issues. Anyway, we are done here, and I will save because I'm not stupid enough to trust the stability of any emulator when it comes to something like this. And I've spent so much time just searching this damn place. So... A wizard card! Chocolate. All right, enough of this. Let's go to Snape before he hangs us by the balls. He would do that, wouldn't he? I wonder how mean Snape was as a Death Eater. We will be back, though. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points, and they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. I'm just checking to see if there's any of any of these doors can be opened. I'm guessing not. Anyway.
Mmm, toast! Bogey. Yuck! Grass flavour! Mmm! Peppermint! I'm just doing this right now so I don't have to come back here. A wizard card! Yuck! Grass flavor! Oh, Bogey! Mmm, marmalade. Yuck! Mmm, -hmm. coffee! Booger flavor. Oh, bogey. Mmm, -hmm. coffee. Spinach flavor. I mean, it's obvious I'll have to come back here at one point because of those, which I guess I need an incendio spell to use, but still. Ugh! Liver? If you're telling me Gary can carry 200 beams with you in that bag, I'm calling bullshit. Double potions with the Slytherins? Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter! You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion-making. As there is little foolish wand-waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quirrell next. Class dismissed.
All right. Wait, what? Okay, let's get out of here as quickly as possible. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. Alright, Christine, sign out. <laughs>